everyone, welcome to our virtual cricket camp. Uh, this week what we'll be covering is some different skills in cricket, uh, batting, bowling and fielding. Just a couple of things to remember. Um, there should always be an adult with you um, for each session. Make sure the area you're working in, okay, you've got plenty of space and uh, there's no danger to yourself uh, or any property. Some of the exercises we do, um, you can do them inside or outside, okay, depending on what exercise it is. Uh, and as well, basically the equipment you'll need will be uh, a bat and a ball. If you have a few more tennis balls, um, that, that really helps. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, we're going to start our warm-ups. Okay, I have Gerald and Mark that are working with me this week. So we'll hand over to the guys and we'll get warmed up. Okay, for our warm-up today, okay, Gerald's just going to uh, get us moving. Okay, we're going to do some stuff with the tennis ball, okay, so if you'd like to follow the exercises, remember, if you do the warm-up, then you can pause your video, okay, each time as we go along, and then try the exercise, and it's the same with the, the batting and the bowling and the fielding skills, okay, if you want to stop your video at any time, just pause it, try the challenge, and then start again, okay, Gerald? So just moving the ball on behind your back. Okay, moving the tennis ball now between your legs. Between the legs again, bigger steps. Okay, and now on the bounce. So bouncing your ball, one bounce and a catch with two hands. One bounce and a catch on your right hand. One bounce and catching on your left hand. And you're really watching the ball closely into your hand. Catching the ball from right hand to left hand. So we're going to do some catching exercises, we'll work on these all week, so these are a good chance to practice your skills, obviously a very fundamental skill in cricket. So we're going to start off, if you have a little bit of space, and probably outside it would be best to do this because we're going to be throwing the ball in there. So we're going to throw the ball with one hand, and we're going to try and catch the ball with two. So when we catch with two, our little fingers join together, we're going to watch the ball as soon as we feel the ball in our hand, close our fingers up. So one hand to throw, two hands to catch. Okay, start off. Not too high, and then increase the difficulty by throwing the ball out. Okay, once we're comfortable with that, a little bit more difficult, we're going to try and clap before we catch the ball. So throw, clap, catch. Okay, again, we'll throw, we'll clap in front, we're going to clap behind and then catch the ball. Okay, now we're going to try and touch the ground before we catch the ball. Okay, so now we've got used to catching the ball with two hands, obviously good to be able to catch with one as well. So we're going to throw with the right hand, catch with the right hand also. Okay, now we'll catch the left hand. Okay, now we're going to throw with the right and catch with the left. Okay, so those are some exercises. Keep practicing them throughout the week and you'll hopefully see some improvement. Our first batting skill today is going to be a forward drive, but what you need to do first, okay, is know how to hold the bat. Okay, so um, your two hands are together in the bat. I'm a right-handed batter. So my left hand goes towards the top of the handle and the right hand goes towards the bottom, okay? If you can see between my thumb and my forefinger, there's a V there, the shape of a V. And I do the same with my left hand as well. So the two Vs are in line and the Vs would be just between the, the outside edge and the middle of the bat, okay? So that's how I want us to hold the bat, okay? So hands are always together in the bat um, so we can work together, okay? 
how we stand, okay, our stance is really important, so your feet are about shoulder width apart, okay, just nice and comfortable, all right, uh, your back's just start off tucked in behind your back foot, um, when you're going to hit the ball, your head goes up, okay, so your eyes are level, all right, and you're ready to play a shot, okay, so that's your basic stance, what we do as well is we have our back swing, and the back swing comes from here, okay, so when we pick our bat up, back swing from here, and then you can swing through and play a shot. Okay, we're going to try a forward drive first, and Mark is going to have a forward drive off a tee. So this will be your first challenge today. Okay, so the ball's on the tee. Okay, what I'm looking for Mark to do is hit the ball off the tee. Okay, and I've set up a target. All right, so we've got a target here. Mark's going to hit the ball. I'm going to give Mark a point if he can hit the ball. I'm going to give him three points if he can hit the target. Okay, so we opportunity here. So, Mark, have a go. Put this shot. Okay, so just moving into the ball. Head is nice and still. Nice start. Good. challenge today, okay, is to play that forward drive, okay, so if you have something at home that is similar to a tee, or if you even have a little cone or anything, just to set the ball on, okay, so just want you to set the ball on there, or on top of a tee, okay, um, you have a target, and take uh, 10 shots to see how many you can get firstly, hit off the tee, and then give yourself uh, points for getting through the target as well. Okay, when you've done that, okay, what we'll move on to, we're going to do what's called a drop feed. Okay, Mark, if you'd like to step on. Oh yeah, with the drop feed, if you have somebody at home, all they have to do is with a tennis ball, their arms outstretched, they will drop the ball, and if you let the ball bounce twice, and try and hit it off the second bounce. Okay, so again, we're trying to hit the ball forward. Okay, here we go guys. Nice. Okay, next ball. Good. Next ball. Good. Okay, next ball. Okay, so that's our second challenge. Okay, so you set yourself up. Okay, just the way Mark was. Okay, Mark, just back in your stance again. Gerald, just reach the arm out. Right, so just hold the ball there, and that's our drop feed. Okay, so again, you're trying that challenge, give yourself a point if you make contact with the ball, and if you set your target up, okay, and give yourself three points if you get it through the target. So have ten goals at that and see what your best score is. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to move on, and this is a really good exercise that you can do at home if you've just a bat and a ball. It's called the chin feed. Okay, Mark, if you want to show us, so you have to just tuck the ball under your chin. Okay, turn yourself around, you get your bat in the hand, and you can drop the ball. Hit. Next one, okay, try again. Okay, so it goes under the chin, a little chin feed, the ball drops out. Hit there, okay. Mark, can you just, you just do one, I'm just going to hit under here. Yeah, so the ball drops out, hit. Just one more. Yeah. Ball drops again. And hit. So we're going to try the same exercise with the chin feet this time. Okay. So you're going to give yourself a point. Okay. If you can make contact with the ball and going into your target, you get three points there. Okay. okay. We're going to work on our bowling now. Okay. So uh, in bowling, we have our cricket ball here. Um, if nobody's seen a cricket ball before, we have a seam which goes uh, down the centre of the ball. Okay, how we'd like you to hold the ball, okay, is the hand with you, uh, which you write with. Okay, your first two fingers can go on top of the ball, thumb just underneath. All right, and a little gap in there. Okay, so that's our basic, that's our basic grip. Okay, of the ball. Um, so we're going to have a go at bowling with that grip. Okay, I'm going to get Mark just to run through our bowling action. Okay, and this is our basic bowling action. So it goes through different stages. Okay, stage one, so Mark starts off. 
He's sideways on, we're going to bowl the ball down towards the target. His left arm goes up and reaches for the sky. The ball just comes underneath his chin. Okay, and what happens is that this arm starts to come down. The other arm comes down there. Arm keeps your arm straight and we let go of the ball there. Okay, so the most important thing, Mark, just run through that again. So left arm reaches for the sky, right arm underneath, and we stop there for you, Mark, and our arm is straight there. Okay, so that's what makes a ball when your arm's straight, okay? So, Mark, what I'd like you to do, okay, is just go through your action, all right? We've set up a target, okay? So, Mark, what I want you to do is you can bowl the ball uh, between this set of stumps and this set of stumps. Can you see if you can get the ball to land anywhere in there? Excellent, very good, nice action. Okay, we're going to try again. Good. Nice high arm, straight arm. Fantastic. Okay, right, that's your first challenge. So if you go away, set yourself up a target, uh, pull 20 balls and see how many you can get through your target. Okay. Okay, right, once you've done that, or I'm going to challenge you a little bit further this time. So I'm going to set up. If you haven't got stumps at home, you can use anything at all okay, as your target, you can use a bin. Mark, I'm going to set the two sets of stumps together. I want you to see, again, if you're doing this as a challenge, okay, you're going to bowl 20 balls, okay, 20 balls at the target. Now put two sets of stumps together, just make yourself a bigger target. Mark, have a go and see how close you can get in the stumps. Excellent. Have another one. Okay, hold there. Now then, one thing, when Mark's pulling the ball every time, as soon as your front arm goes up, your always eyes are fixed on the target there, okay? We're going to be fixed on the target, okay? Have a go again. Beautiful, well done. Okay, right, so that one. Have a go, take 20 balls, okay, at a slightly bigger target this time, you have to hit it and see how many uh, you can hit you can get. All right, this time, Mark. Away. So you've got to really concentrate to okay, see how hard we can get with this one. Oh, bullseye, here we go. Right, how about the set up straight? Good stuff. Right, concentrate again. Nice action. Just nearly very close. Take one more. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Okay, right, again, there's your little challenge, okay? It's a smaller target. Okay, take 20 balls, have a go, see how many hits you can get. Right. Challenge. Right, this is the, the ultimate challenge here. Right, here we go. Couple of balls. Right, Mark. This is the big one here. Okay, can you hit one stop? Okay, one stop to hit. Oh, I think I'll definitely have the stumps. Right, have one more. Oh, bullseye. All right, well done. Okay, so that's your last challenge there. Having a go with a really small target, okay? We're just using the stumps, so with one stump there. Um, so put yourself a small target, have 20 goes again, see how many you can get out of your 20. Well done. Okay, now Okay, now we're on your fielding exercise in session one, okay? We're going to just work on some short catching, okay? So, Mark, if you want to just get in the position. Alright, so for short catching, feet shoulder width apart, okay? Hands are going to be together, little fingers touching there, okay? So, Mark, what I'd like you to do, okay, is just watch the ball in your hands, see if you can catch. Good. Again. Lovely. Okay, so with a partner at home, just get some short catches going, okay, for about one minute to see how many catches you can do. So just get into the rhythm, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just nice and short, okay. Once you've done that, okay, when you test mark, mark this time, you're only allowed to use your right hand to catch, okay. So both moving across, good, over, yeah, watch the ball right in your hand all the time, nice soft hands. 
Okay, so that's your second challenge. Okay, so pause your video, go away, try your two-handed catches, now try your right-handed catch, okay, for one minute. Right, after that, we'll move across, Mark, we'll try your left hand this time, see how you are on your left side. Good. Over. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so you're going to do your one minute with your left hand. Okay, now then, this time, I want to challenge my partner some more. I'm not going to tell you where the ball's going to go, okay? It can go to either side, it can go low, okay? So if it's straight at you, you might have to go with two hands. If it goes to your side, you see, you might have to go one hand or two. Okay, right, off we go. Moves across well. So now you can see Mark starting to move his feet. Okay, moving his feet across, he catches, he's taking it with one hand. On both sides, very really good. He's got a straight one, he's taking it with two hands. Right, I'm going to test you, Mark. Can you take every catch with two hands? Right, so every catch. So here we go. Right, he's really moving his feet now, he's working across. Look at that, fantastic. Straight one there, across, lovely. Again, on his toes all the time. Yeah. Good. Right, okay, so moving the feet all the time, two handed catch underneath. Because he was moving his feet, Mark didn't have to take anything with one hand, he got the position straight away. One last thing you can do for the short catching, okay, Mark, if you just go up against the wall, just about there, so I just turn and face the wall, but we step back to me, okay, alright, and this time, Mark, I'm just going to do a walk under our feet, the ball's just going to rebound off the wall, and you're going to take a catch, okay? So again, if you somebody at home to try this one, alright, so the ball's fed in, nice catch, good. Okay, this side again, lovely. Okay, the one, those are the tricky ones, okay. Higher one, okay. Brilliant. I'm on this side, just test this side as well. Good, good hands there, lovely. Brilliant, okay. Right, little test at home, you can do that against the garage wall, the side of the house, just throw and catch, and okay, the partner in front there again. Test yourself 20 catches, let somebody else your partner have a go for 20. Okay, go and have a go guys. Okay. okay everyone, just to conclude in day one, okay, so we have our questions and fun facts, okay, so for question one, how many players are there in a cricket team? Question two, what cricket ground is known as the home of cricket? And question three, what do the initials LBW stand for in cricket? Okay, hope you enjoyed today. See you all tomorrow.